in the name of God, most gracious, most merciful. So the question I'm asking is, uh, intelligent life beyond earth. And I'm going to start by actually giving you the answer and then give its explanation. And that is that if anyone thinks that we're going to find anything more than singular uh, cell organisms uh, on any other planet, uh, they're living in La La Land. Uh, the idea that we'll find beings, intelligent beings, and I'll explain it in a second what I mean by that, uh, but I mean why. But we're going to find intelligent beings that we're going to collaborate with, and they're scientists and our scientists. We're going to collaborate on technologies and know-how of the universe. And this is almost uh, next to basically, it, it, from a scientific perspective, it's next to impossible. Um, now, let me tell you why it is completely impossible to the point where it doesn't make, uh, it doesn't make, it doesn't, one w would have to have a lot of faith than rationale. Because uh, the Earth uh, is a very special place, and uh, unlike you know when Galileo uh, discovered Earth is not the center uh, of, of the world, and in fact the Earth is going around the Sun, so on and so forth. And then when we look at our place in the universe, we're in this humble uh, spot, uh, you know, not really the center of the universe. So. Uh, a lot of people thought, well, you know, human beings don't seem to be very unique, and therefore uh, God and religion uh, had it all wrong. Okay. But when we look at uh, the Earth, we look at the axis of the Earth, we look at the gravitational level of the Earth, the chemicals uh, uh, on, in Earth, liquid, or, or water, without water there's no life, on Earth, we look at the plate tectonics, we look at a, play, a planet with one moon and the effect it has on the ocean, um, the right amount of energy coming from the sun, uh, everything being in place, th this and many other factors being in place. When you have, you know, everything in place, uh, you will be lucky then to get singular, so let's say the right chemicals are there, and 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 the fact that life came into existence isn't the mystery itself but this is what the mystery is that everything is in the right place and all the chemicals are there and the liquid is there because when you have liquid it is enough liquidy that uh, molecules or atoms can interact if it's in a solid state they can't interact if they're in the air they will just go by too fastly that they can't really hook up on each other and so you have this w water uh, that allows the proper interaction of chemicals and let's say if we got very lucky we got a living organism but that isn't the the point that is difficult to explain what is difficult to explain is an organism with a DNA that carries the messages of how to replicate itself from one point to another point to another point and and then also explaining that and this is one of the mistakes I think that scientists generally make, which is when they say, oh, this appeared, and unicellular organisms appeared, and multicellular organisms appeared, and then, you know, uh, mammals appeared. Their appearance is somehow an automatic process of chance, and that is enough of an explanation for them. Uh, for many people, that may not be enough of an explanation. Simply, the appearance of something doesn't mean it's given its entire explanation. However, uh, scientists, many of the atheist scientists feel that that's enough of an explanation. But here's the thing, is that so all the chemicals were there, everything was there, and then a unicellular organism came into existence that had DNA information to pass on to other generations, and then when that unicellular organism or others like it, uh, then they somehow by mistake, by chance, because their DNA that had that information of their survival and their life uh, somehow made a mistake and then they became from unicellular organisms to multicellular organisms and then again those multicellular organisms they made further mistakes and then we got more complex animals uh, from that and so uh, the general rule is you go from complex to you know the, 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 the second law of thermodynamics shows the law of nature is to go from uh, complex to uh, you know, from from organized to chaos, okay? Uh, but what we're finding here is, you know, if you have an egg, 
and you break the egg, you'll get uh, you get uh, the, the 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 thing inside the egg that will become uh, that is the, the egg is simple, complex, but what comes out of it is going to be even more complex, which is a living chicken or a hen. This is not generally what we find to be the general law of the universe. This is something strange. This is an oddity from going to complex to more complex. Generally, things will go from complex to less complex. Anyway, let's leaving that aside, uh, let's go back to the question that of DNA somehow uh, being there, and then for multicellular organisms, same thing, the DNA is carried, and then for the rest of the animal kingdom, until human beings, we carry our... And of course, you know, then at some point, which is a little problematic, uh, again, some scientists um, that I've talked to and dealt with, that, okay, then, you know, then you get the brain. And then, let's say, some mammals have enough of a brain that they can survive. They don't need their DNA to change. However, the DNA kept changing, but somehow it doesn't change anymore. But our brains continue to develop, and no one would have a problem with the argument that our brains continue to develop, and we have learned, through the use of our brain, different ways of survival. However, going back to the original point, that if we were to look at, let's say, a billion Earth-like places, uh, taking into consideration that it's not just a matter of generating life, but it is a matter of generating life that carries its DNA, that carries its... Um, it's uh, the code of how to generate that life over and over again. When you consider that, uh, the chances of us finding life in another planet in which they had all the right conditions, and then they still have uh, life, it's, it's not going to be something more, you know, it takes a lot of faith. It's easier to believe in fairies than it is to believe that we will find uh, the same process or sequence uh, happening in another place despite relatively similar conditions because it is too much against probability it's like betting on too much it's not even equal to you know throwing dice and getting the right numbers it's like throwing no matter how many times you throw dice you'll still get dice but every time it goes from singular organism to multiple organism uh, multicellular organisms uh, we're talking about, you know, if you're throwing dice and you get flowers. And then you throw dice again, uh, you know, from cellular, single, single cellular organisms to multicellular organisms. Even the emergence of single, sing, uh, single cellular organisms is more than throwing dice and getting the right numbers of a dice. It is more, more like the whole circumstance just changed. Something changed. Something emerged. And that emergence... Uh, or the appearance, and scientists will usually say this such and such appeared at the such and such time scale. And its appearance is not necessarily an explanation. Anyway, so, uh, so even if we go behind that and we look at how gal we, galaxies are always being formed, and if we look at other galaxies and we look at our own galaxy, okay, see, we, we can study the galaxies that are being formed and the state that they're in, we can say this appeared and this appeared and this appeared, and try to come up with explanations uh, of how that sequence of events happened. But uh, the problem there is that from one, from one level of sequence to another level of sequence to another level of sequence, when things are mo more and more unlikely from a uh, probability perspective, and so you have the from no life to life, that is improbable. But life with DNA, even more improbable. And then, uh, and then throw another dice, and you get another set of flowers, and next stage, a big mistake happened, and you get multicellular organisms. And then you throw the dice again, you get another set of flowers, and you get go another set, and, and a, a quite a few millions and billions of these uh, throwing of dices, and instead of getting a dice, any number of a dice, which would be maybe a better condition within the same model, the same level, rather than a complete change. Um, so the DNA makes a mistake and things get better and better and better until human beings come along. The chances of finding an event like that in another planet where we will now find aliens and intelligent beings that we can collaborate with and have scientific dialogues with and even learn from is highly, highly improbable. It would take a lot of faith to believe in something 
uh, of that nature.